Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Here are many broken Obamacare promises to help explain why Trump and the GOP need to repeal this disaster. By J.D. Hayes. During recent town hall events, Republican lawmakers returning to their home districts have been facing what can only be described as staged opposition to any repeal of the Affordable Care Act. Naturally, the discredited Washington establishment media have seized upon these staged protests to compare them to similar protests of Democratic lawmakers pushing for Obamacare during President Obama's first year in office, even going so far as to label them the liberal version of the Tea Party movement. Turnabout in politics is, of course, fair play. It just seems odd that now some Republicans, like Rep. Jason Chaffetz of Utah, who won in November by more than 50 points, are now suddenly facing so much liberal opposition turn up at their town halls. But whatever. Again, these people are part of an organized movement on the left to thwart any attempt to return one-sixth of the U.S. economy, the health care industry back to the private sector and the people, where it has always belonged. Related, get ready for Obama's final insult to the American people, massive Obamacare hikes. Getting lost in the debate is the truth, however, and the truth is that Obamacare never delivered on its promises, something that the angry libs shouting hysterically at Republican town halls have completely forgotten, probably on purpose. So, as the GOP begins to coalesce, finally, around an Obamacare repeal and replace measure, where are the last six you guys proposed? It's worth remembering what those broken promises were because they should definitely become part of the repeal debate. Everyone will be covered under Obamacare, no more Americans slipping through the cracks, remember? Only, the law has never covered all Americans. In fact, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation in September 2016, 28.5 million Americans remained uninsured. Insurance premiums would fall by $2,500 each year, some Americans have saved a little money on monthly premiums, and mostly in Obamacare exchanges, those that have survived. Their premiums, however, are being subsidized by taxpayers. For the most part, however, premiums and other out-of-pocket expenses for health care have skyrocketed with many people forced to buy plans that have deductibles of thousands of dollars. You can keep your doctor, not. Because of Obamacare's insurance mandate, many plans changed, and when they did, so did primary care physicians and specialists who were no longer part of the new plans network. As reported by the Daily Signal. Obamacare's rising costs, and its limited flexibility in federally fixed benefit designs resulted in plans resorting to narrow provider networks. Narrow networks limit access to doctors and other medical professionals as a way to contain costs. You can keep your plan, except when you couldn't. Again, Obamacare's regulatory regime required that every plan include coverages for specific things, like women's care, even for men. Plans held by tens of millions of Americans no longer complied and, thus, they lost their existing, and much more affordable, plan. Obamacare will result in more competition, thus cheaper prices. Democrats, who passed Obamacare without a single Republican vote, have never met a free market solution they liked because the free market means big government doesn't get to pick winners and losers. So as you can imagine, competition has decreased under the Affordable Care Act because insurance companies are losing hundreds of millions a year in inefficient exchanges, they are dropping out of them in droves, leaving fewer choices for consumers, and higher costs. Related, Obamacare is totally imploding just like we warned five years ago at Natural News. The perpetually angry and dishonest left is organizing like-minded sheeple to crash Republican lawmakers' town halls as part of a strategy to make it appear as though Obamacare is not only wildly successful, but also hugely popular. Neither claim is true. The CEO of Insurer Aetna has officially proclaimed the law to be in a death spiral, while most Americans continue to oppose it. GOP members, and President Donald Trump 
ran on specific campaign platforms to repeat La Obamacare. They have the numbers in Congress, they have the White House and a president who agrees. It is time for Republicans to realize that these protests are manufactured and deliver on their promises. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.